All right, this is the uh, draw photosynthesis review for those of you that have missed the day or need a, a good review for your quiz. Um, before we start, we need to la label a couple things. I'm just going to abbreviate. Um, again, this is your thylakoid membrane. We know it's a membrane. It has this nice, there's our phospholipids, TS, thylakoid space. Um, and so we're going to call this the light dependent reactions. Uh, sometimes they're called the dark reactions. Um, this here is our enzyme embedded ATP synthase. Not sure if I spelled that right. But um, so what's going to happen is I'm going to try to fix up these colors a little bit. I don't have a yellow, but what's going to well, let's label these first. So PS2, which I said, if you take AP bio, we'll talk more about. PS1, here's an electron transport chain, um, and there's our carrier molecules, and there's our ADP. So to start the process, I guess we'll go to blue, sunlight's going to come in, it's going to hit these photosystems, and as you can see here, we've got water. So when sunlight hits that water, it's going to cause that water to break up, and we're going to form some H pluses, and then we're also going to have some oxygens. Well, oxygen is diatomic, which means that it can really, it needs to be O2 to be stable or to be found in nature. So, as we know, the O2 will be released out here into the atmosphere. These hydrogens are going to stay in there. They're going to, this is that thylakoid space. So, what's going to happen is eventually we're going to get a lot of hydrogens in here. And they're going to form, hopefully, what you remember is a concentration gradient. And so remember, materials moving from high to low. So we have a lot, we have a high concentration of hydrogens on the outside, not so many, excuse me, high concentration of hydrogens on the inside, not so many on the outside. So what's going to happen is for those hydrogens to um, leave or go down the gradient, they have to pass through ATP synthase. Now this process here of them, we talked about osmosis being the movement of water, this is called chemiosmosis. So if you see that osmosis part, high to low. What's cool is, or what's the important part, is as these hydrogens um, go through the help catalyze reaction to form ADP, will then form some ATP. And it's much more complicated than that, but if you take AP bio, this is, I just want you a basic understanding. We talked about electron transport chain a little bit, and so we've got to re-energize these electrons. But one of the products of this is that this NADP, which is a carrier molecule, sorry about my handwriting, will become NADPH. These are the two important products of the light reactions. So sunlight hits, there's that whole process. It looks sloppy, but uh, hopefully you get the idea there. Now we're going to move on to the dark reactions. Let me move this down a little bit. So, uh, I, people will sometimes get these terms confused. You can call it light independent. I'm just going to call it the dark reactions for this point. And what we call this is the Calvin cycle. Calvin cycle. So, what we have up here, we have a, our CO2, a different color here, that comes in from the atmosphere. We had two things produced in the light reactions, which I'm going to show you here in a second. These are my arrows trying to represent them coming in and donating. We had ATP, and then we had NADPH. ATP will become ADP, because what's going to happen is when you're going from ATP to ADP, you release some energy. So I'm going to do my little kapow, a little bit of energy will be there. NADPH is going to donate some hydrogens become NADP+. Now, carbon, oxygen, hydrogens, got your glucose. Now, it is much more complicated than this if you take AP Bio, but I just want you to get to see the basic. The products in the light reactions become the reactants in the dark. And so that is just kind of basically overview of drawing photosynthesis. We're not, there are, you know, you go off to college and there's all kind of these intermediary 
molecules here, 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 here. I mean, it, it can get pretty complicated. I just want you to be able to understand that going from a light reaction to dark reaction, what occurs. So this just kind of gives you a quick overview um, to draw photosynthesis, but th this is the basics. And so hopefully if you have a basic understanding of this, you, you, you understand what I, what I want you to understand. If that made sense. So good luck. And again, if you have any questions, come see me. And um, hopefully this made sense. And we're all done.